2012, leaving cert higher level connected particles. Question four, part B. We're given this diagram, and we're told that two particles of mass m kilograms and two m kilograms lie at rest on horizontal rough tables. The coefficient of friction for each particle and the table it lies on is mu, and you're told that mu is less than two thirds. The particles are connected by a light, inextensible string, which passes under a smooth movable pulley of mass 4m kilograms. The system is released from rest. One, find in terms of m and mu the tension in the string. And part two asks you if the acceleration of the mass of the m kilogram mass is f. Okay, so we'll use f and a here instead of a and b for the accelerations. Find the acceleration of the 2m kilogram mass in terms of f. Okay. Let's start with our forces here. Let's start with our M. Our reactory force, or we have Mg coming down. We've got our string going in this direction this time. And M, the acceleration of M is F, so we call this acceleration F in this direction. And we do have friction, so we have an F going back this way we we'll call it f1 because we're going to have two different ones okay so r is equal to mg and actually we we're going to have a different r here aren't we so let's call it r1 r1 is equal to mg f1 is equal to mu r1 so my friction for the m is just mu r1 which is equal to mu m g now it's going in the direction of the string t so t minus f1 t minus f f1 is equal to mg which is um sorry m a which is f is f yeah m f so t minus f1 mu m g is equal to m f we know we're going to need to get this acceleration um, for when we have the two accelerations for this guy. So just divide by F to get T over F minus, sorry, we want to get F, not, not divide by F, divide by M, T over M minus mu G is equal to the acceleration F. Okay, let's look at the two M kg mass, two M. The string is going in this direction. The acceleration is going in this direction. We'll call it A. We have R2. We have 2mg. And we have F or F2. Okay, let's move up a bit. R2 is equal to 2mg. F. 2 is equal to mu or 2 so f2 is equal to 2 mu m g it's going in the direction of t so t minus f2 t minus f2 is equal to 2 m a m a so t minus 2 mu m g is equal to 2ma so divide across by 2m to get this acceleration and we're going to get t over 2m minus the 2m will cancel so just minus mu g is going to be equal to a and then for my 4m my 4m mass we have two strings t and t we have 4mg and we call the first acceleration f so we have the average of these accelerations are f plus a over 2 and it's going down in this direction so we can say that 4mg minus the two t's is equal to m which is 4m times a which is f plus a over 2 what do we ask for part one here Find in terms of m and mu the tension of the string. So we want to find t. 
So if we add F and A together, we're going to get T over M minus mu G. T over M minus mu G. So this is F plus A. And for A, we got T over 2M minus mu G. So that's F plus A. So we're going to get, what have we got? We have a T over M and we have a T over 2M. So that's like one plus a half. So it's three T over two M and minus two mu G. So we bring that over here. Three T over two M minus two mu G. Three T over two M minus two mu G is F plus A. This two, we can eliminate with the four divide in twice so we're going to get on the outside of just f plus a we're going to get 2m and we have 4m g minus 2t over here so i can definitely divide no what can i do first so i can divide these three by two probably the best way to start anyway so we get 2mg minus t is equal to m times 3t over 2m minus 2 mu g so 2mg minus t is equal to that one and that one will cancel when we're multiplying the m by the 3t over 2 so it's going to give me 3t over 2 minus 2m mu g we want the t's together so i've got I've, I've got negative one here so imagine that going to the right we have one and a half plus one which is two and a half so we have five t over two is equal to so that's gone that way so we need to bring this guy the other side so we have two mg plus two m mu sorry mu g so if i divide by two i'm going to get five t no, multiply by 2, I'm going to have 5t is equal to 4mg plus 4m, I can't write mu, 4m mu g. So we just want t. So, well, we have got something, let's, let's factor out 4m here. Or we have we 4mg, actually, 4mg by 1 plus, it's going to just leave my mu. And... I divide across by 5, I'm going to get T is equal to 4mg times 1 plus mu over 5. So that's the first part. Second part. So we are asked to find if the acceleration of mkg is f, well that's what we allowed it to be. Find the acceleration of the 2mkg mass in terms of f. Okay, so we're going to need to get rid of the T. What do we have here? We equations in T. We have this one for the m kg mass, and we have this one. Okay, so we can eliminate t from both of these. Where does that bring us? Let's see. So t minus mu m g is equal to m f. I'm bringing this one down. I'm multiplying it by minus one. We're going to get minus t plus 2 mu mg is equal to 4 ma. That will eliminate our t's to give us mu mg is equal to mf plus 4 ma. Sorry, no, I have not multiplied that by minus 1. Why did I multiply it by 2? It's going to be minus t plus t is equal to minus 2ma. Sorry, minus 2ma. Minus 2ma. Okay, where does that leave us? I can divide across by m to get mu g is equal to f minus 2a. So we need another equation. G's. So what other equation? When we have this one, we have this one for t. And then let's find another equation in terms of t that should help us. So we have a simple equation in t. 
Now here's what about this one here. T is equal to mf plus mu mg. T is equal to mf plus mu mg. That might help us here. We can get our mu g in there. Just double check that equation. T is equal to mf plus mu mg. So that will be equal to this one. And then we divide across by m, we're going to get our mu g's. And then we can find out what mu g is and let it equal this one, I think is the best way to do this question. Seems a bit long winded. Maybe you guys will come up with a better way. Equals 4mg by 1 plus mu over 5. Divide by m, we're going to get f plus mu g is equal to 4g. I'll multiply this out 4g by 1 and 4g by mu plus 4 mu g. And both of those are over 5. Can that help me? So will it help me to get mu g here and let it equal that one? That might work. Try and get them on the same page. So we have, well, we have this is in terms of mu g. So let's see, and this is a mu g. So let's see what f is equal to. f is equal to 4g over 5. 4 fifths minus a full one is going to be minus mu g over 5. So I'm going to need to multiply by 5. Again, 5f is equal to 4g minus mu g. So now I can, I can get mu g now. Mu g is equal to 4g minus 5f. Now this should help. That's mu g in terms of g and f. And we have mu g in terms of f and a. So why don't we let this equal this so we're going to get 4g minus 5f is equal to f minus 2a and we're looking to get a in terms of f and g is just a number so we have what we need now so to get a it's going to be if i bring 2a to the left i'm going to get 5f plus f which is 6f minus 4g so a is equal to 3f minus 2g or a is equal to 3f minus 2 by 9.8 a is equal to 3f minus minus not equal 19.6 that's a in terms of f and obviously a number in there too so a tricky enough simplification in the 2012 part b question